flashy, puffy-faced, Hebrew and Anglo-Saxon. The overlords sprawl here with their glittering darlings. The smoke curls thick, and the dimmed light surreptitiously, deaf mute waiters flatter the grandees, going easily over the rich carpets, wary lest they kick over the bottles under the tables. The jazz band unleashes its frenzy. <laughs> Sterling Brown's cabaret throws you into a room filled with aristocracy, coughing from thick smoke and all. This was the typical nightclub scene in Harlem during the 1920s. Muddy water round my feet, muddy water. Poor half-naked fools tagged with identification numbers worn out upon the leaves. Brown initially provides the reader with intense imagery from both aristocracy and slavery. The juxtaposition of the two spawns a somber tone of slavery in the poem against the lively backdrop of the cabaret. Brown also uses repetition of the words muddy water to emphasize the imagery of slavery. We notice that Brown is creating the imagery of slavery by referring to it within the cabaret. We start the scene at a nightclub and the main performer comes out only to sing tales of the Negroes in the fields. He does this by using various forms of figurative language. The trombone belches. The drummer twitches in an epileptic fit. Dee -da -dee -da. Brown's choice of words should also be noted because we can notice some hidden undertones. He uses the phrase, Oh, le bal des beyes corturuns. The phrase above is written in French and roughly translates to Oh, the ball of the beautiful corderoons. Here, corderoon is a variation of the word quadroon, which signifies a person of one quarter of black ancestry. Brown uses this word to try and suggest that the beginning of jazz came from the same ancestors, African American people. Air Cabaret to Spring and All by Williams Carlos. Poems don't have any obvious rhyme scheme. Spring and All talks about life using seasons to represent the different stages. We start at birth and end with death. Spring represents the birth by using the spawning of leaves to show this. Fall represents old age as the leaves start to dry and change color, while winter represents our passing as the leaves fall from the branches and get blown away with the wind to only become nothing more than a memory. In Cabaret, Brown emphasizes the undertone of slavery through the songs of the Cabaret. Negroes are born to be slaves, and their sole use is to be put to work, kind of like the seasons in William's poem. They have no great purpose but to depict change. In William's poem, the words leaf and trees are repeated a lot. In Cabaret, the words muddy fields are repeated often. Both authors are using elements of nature to create an atmosphere. Now let's look a little more closely at spring and all. They enter the world naked, cold, uncertain of all, save that they enter. All about them, the cold, familiar wind. This lyric could easily represent the birth of a Negro during the times of slavery, where the babies are born pure and unaware of the hardships they are yet to face as they grow up. They are uncertain of all because they have no clue of what is happening in the world around them. They are born cold, which could be a synonym for poor. They hope the world would be safe and a happy place for them, but they are oblivious to the maltreatment they are facing due to society's ideas. But now the stark dignity of entrance still, the profound change has come upon them. Rooted, they grip down and begin to awaken. Although Williams uses this representation to probably describe the restart of the circle of the cycle of life, I see this in a different light. Maybe if we compare this to Cabaret, it could represent the beginning of the Harlem Renaissance. The Negroes are tired of being looked at, sick again, doubted, and treated poorly. Maybe this lyric represents the end of their struggles and their beginning of the fight for equality.